for this review, we have the Marvel Legends King the Conqueror. I um, guess you'd call this a deluxe release. As you can see, this box is pretty big. Um, he comes with his hover chair, and uh, he's going to have a couple extra faces you can swap out. Um, really nice artwork in general. Um, very cool looking, nice King the Conqueror logo. Uh, they got the same logo on the top and more of this uh, space motif on the side. We get some artwork. On the other side, we get the same artwork, just mirrored. On the bottom, there is a UPC, although this I don't think is going to be sold retail. I think this is just uh, Hasbro Pulse for right now. And then on the back, we get a demonstration of his hover chair. He's got some extra faces. He's got a gun. He's got some effects. Uh, matter of fact, he's got two guns. And a little thing here. King the Conqueror travels throughout time, altering timelines and threatening reality on a journey to become ruler of the universe. So there is that. So let's open him up. A little legal pamphlet, as always. There's a lot going on with the packaging here. So there are two parts to the tray. There is a white backdrop. There's nothing special about it. One side is glossy white. The other side is plain cardboard. It is pretty sturdy, so if you want to use it for something, I mean, if you want to use it for, like, doing little mini tour reviews, you could. It's nice, nice white cardboard. So, bottom tray, you've got pretty much all the pieces of the hover chair and the stand. And then top tray, you got the gun, more pieces to the seat, you've got the arm of the stand, um, this goes to the chair in some way, um, looks like some kind of energy panel, he's got the extra faces, extra hands, Extra little minigun and a little blast effect there. And he's looking pretty angry with that uh, default face. So let's get him all the way out. Um, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and start building his chair. So let's get the base set up. It is keyed. So there's only one way to really put this on there. Um, this bottom area is pretty cool looking. It's just plastic, but uh. Actually, I think the inner lines are painted white, but it's got a really nice effect. So this piece connects here and basically you're going to sandwich these pieces together but you're going to want to put the inner part of the seat first
Let's basically slide that in and slide that in. Actually, that's going to have to go on last. And this is basically going to hold the two sides together. Um, okay, so there's a slot here and goes on top of this guy. And just slides on very easily. This piece slides in here. Uh, these do not snap in, so this is not permanent. So if you needed to take this apart, um, you could easily do that. But they fit in such a way that they are not going to fall off easily. And then this needs to go in. I probably should have done this earlier somewhere. There is a side that's uh, it's got some ridges and some, a side that doesn't. And we just need to match that up. Looks like it goes like this. So I'm definitely going to have to take this back apart. But as you see, it comes off very easily. That might be enough to get up in there. there. That's what I get for getting ahead of myself. Okay, and there you go. Um, no instructions that went on pretty easily. Okay, let's try to fix him up so he can stand. Okay, so um, let's look at the accessories real quick. So he's got two kind of reach out hands. He's got a uh, finger trigger hand. He's got a small pistol, well, small blaster. He's got a larger blaster with some nice paint. He's got kind of a lizard head and kind of a freaked out face. Zoom in on these so you can get a better look of them. Very gnarly looking. And then he's got this uh, energy effect that can go on either the blasters. And then here is the face that it comes with. Very snarly. Uh, but cool looking. And then uh, if we can zoom out, let's kind of go over his uh, throne chariot hover chair. Um, very cool looking. There is some blue in the back to give off an energy effect. The plastic, I don't think it's painted, but it does have a nice uh, shininess to it, kind of makes it look metallic. 
the uh, seat covers are kind of like a chocolate brown. They look pretty cool. Lots of nice texture to make it try to look like it's real, you know, fabric, leather, whatever. And then he's got some energy effects here on the uh, front. And uh, there is some paint on the bottom, and that looks pretty nice too. And again, there's the little place where his feet goes, and um, it looks pretty nice. You know, you can have him sitting, you can have him standing and barking out commands at someone. So you got lots of options here. Um, this is reuse from another version that came out a while back. And they're pretty much identical except for the head. You know, we've got a different portrait. The purple on this version is a bit, tad bit darker and a bit shinier. That could just be because of the plastic they use. I don't know if this was a purposeful decision to make the plastic shinier or if it was just different plastic that they used. Um, the gun is quite a bit different too. So this is, this is not the same gun. Um, even the hands, well, yeah, I think the hands are the same. So same, same set of hands. And then another big difference is the new one obviously has different faces. So you can give him kind of this uh, lizard looking face. Or this uh, bugged out insane looking face. You really can't go wrong. Um, the open hands, even though they're not meant to hold weapons, they, they hold the bigger guns pretty easily. Again, not not perfectly, but if you wanted to, you could get them to hold that gun. But I'm sure you're going to want to have one of these guys seated. And maybe have another one standing off to the side. Have something like that. And that would totally work. So that's the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please turn into more videos coming up. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you.